Well, what we're doing here this morning is placing wreaths on a train that will be leaving Cardiff just after 8.30 and will be arriving in London as close as you can imagine to the 11th hour on the 11th day, the moment we pause to remember the sacrifices of people from over a century now of conflict. Well, I think it's very important. We look back over a hundred years today, but we think as well of people who've been involved in conflicts much closer to our own time. 40 years next year since the conflict in the Falklands, 30 years since the first Gulf War, 20 years since 9-11. We are remembering things not from some distant past, but things that are vivid in the lives of people who are very much alive today. I think in some ways, the events of very recent times, the involvement of people from armed services in assisting us through the pandemic has reminded everybody that these are people who are involved in public service every day here. So the help we've had in ambulance driving, many people will have gone and had their vaccine delivered by young people working in the Air Force. The Welsh Government's office has at some times been full of people you know, dressed in military fatigues, unheard of in any other time, but reminding people and young people as well of the significance of the armed forces for us here in Wales.